here is a case wherein the judge has denied bail to an accused in canteen worker in a drug mafia lalit patel case in pune this uh, case is related to makoka mcoca and it is also related to drug transport and the person who is accused has worked as a carrier to the drugs for a drugs cartel and he was caught by the police while in the act when you go to the details they are the crime branch of the pune police arrested lalit patil is a gang name accomplice subhash mondol along with rauf shaik on september 30 2023 mondol and shaik were held while they were planning to supply rupees 2 crore mephedron drug tablets to patil was undergoing treatment in a hospital the police laid a trap and both of them were arrested under makoka while in the process of delivery shaik has been in jail since then since september 30 2023 shaik applied for bail through his lawyer rajesh wagmare the defense lawyer argued that the accused was innocent his family is dependent on him and there are no previous offenses registered against him there are three points that the defense lawyer concentrated on one that he is applying for a regular bail because he has been in a jail for last one year and so and the accused was innocent because there was never any previous history he was not a history sheeter there was no previous offenses registered against him he innocently got involved in the plot and his family is dependent on him however the public prosecutor opposed the bail plea saying that the accused was following lalit patel's instructions he was the sargana of that drug cartel he was assisting patel in the drug smuggling there is proof of his involvement in the deals the case diary report the cdr report is also available while they were planning to supply 2 crore mephedron to patel this was discovered by the police and written down in their case diary as a part of their investigation who was undergoing treatment in the hospital both have been arrested under the makoka shaik has been in jail since september 30 shaik applied for bail through his lawyer rajesh wagmare however the public prosecutor succeeded in establishing that there is proof of his involvement in the deal based on the cdr report now let us discuss the case and the details the approach of the lawyer and the approach of the court and then see the legal case how it has unfolded let us first discuss about the legal points involved the first is arrest under makoka both subhash mandal and rao shaik were arrested under the maharashtra control of our organized crime act makoka this is the only kind of act that is there in entire india makoka is a stringent law enacted to combat organized crime and terrorism makoka requires the prosecution to establish the existence of an organized crime syndicate and the involvement of the accused in the two things that they have to establish one that the reason one number one crime under ipc that is now in this case drug delivery drugs and delivery of drugs second there is an organized crime syndicate organizing it it is established on the basis of the volume of the delivery not a small volume 
which is individual use but a very large volume in this case it is also existing where we have a 2 crore delivery 2 crore worth of drugs mefedrine and the involvement of the accused in it there we have the cd report and the investigation details and then the witnesses and witness reports in that now let us see the proof of involvement the public prosecutor argued that there is proof of Sheikh's involvement in the drug smuggling and his collaboration with Lalit Patel. The call detail record, CDR report, purportedly shows Sheikh's communication with Patel, which the prosecution claims as evidence of Sheikh's role in criminal activities. The police have laid the, taken the entire record of call data and then established the link between oral instructions of Patel with the actions of Sheikh. Now, what are the defense arguments? Defense arguments for bail, a regular bail application. What are the defense arguments? Under Makoka, the bail is very, very difficult to get. Now, what exactly the defense lawyer argued? The defense lawyer argued that Sheikh is innocent, number one. Because why, how can you say he is innocent? Because he doesn't have a prior criminal record. And his family depends on him. Depends on him. These points are often used to highlight the accused ties to the community and the lack of a flight risk or a threat to society. The lawyer, defense lawyer, tried to establish that an entire he is a family man, this particular person, and his entire family is linked. Their survival is linked to his being free and working and earning for the family. He is the only earning member of the family, and the lack of flight risk because his family is here. He will not be subject of a flight risk and he is of no threat to society because he has never involved himself in any prior criminal activity. Now, the fourth point is opposition to bail. The prosecution's opposition to bail is based on Sheikh's alleged involvement in the organized crime and the availability of call data records as evidence implicating him in the drug deals. Now, let us critically analyze the legal arguments. First, Makoka applicability. For Makoka to apply, there must be substantial evidence that Sheikh is part of an organized crime syndicate. Number one, you establish that it is an organized crime syndicate. Second, you establish that Sheikh is part of that crime syndicate. Merely following Patil's instructions may not suffice unless it is proven that Patil himself was running such a syndicate, number one, and Sheikh was a knowing participant. He willingly participated in the activities of the syndicate. Next, the defense should scrutinize the prosecution's claim that the crime meets Makoka standards, criteria, and challenge any insufficiency in establishing an organized crime syndicate. Next heading is evidence evaluation. How do you evaluate the evidence available? The call data record report, CDR report, showing communication between Sheikh and Patel needs to be critically examined. The nature of the call, their content for how long, and the context are crucial whether only a bland instruction is given or a discussion is going on how to organize, where to do, what to do, at what time to do, who to employ, all such things. They are part of the planning and execution in any organized crime syndicate. The defense should request detailed records and argue if the communication does not directly implicate Shaikh in the crime. The defense should demand all evidence the prosecution claims to have and challenge its admissibility and relevance at every stage. Now, the third uh, item to be discussed is the character and background. The defense's arguments about Sheikh's lack of prior offenses and his being a family man with the family dependency is a strong point. Courts often consider these factors in bail application as they suggest a lower risk of absconding or reoffending because he has to fend for his family. Next, detailed information about Sheikh's personal circumstances, such as his employment history, his community ties, his character references, eh, from various reliable and responsible and respectable people in society, should be presented to strengthen the bail application. Now, supposing he were to again apply for bail again, then what are the suggestions we can give for obtaining bail? One, first step is, First stand on which you, have, you can challenge is challenge the Makoka charges. First you have to challenge the charge itself. 
we have to argue that the prosecution has not sufficiently demonstrated that there is a organized crime syndicate and that patel is the head and is running that syndicate third that shaikh is a, a well oiled part of that entire machinery of the syndicate as required under mccoca not that he is just an outsider who is used only for one off transaction emphasize any discrepancies or weaknesses in the prosecution's narrative regarding the organized nature of the crime now next is examine and contest the evidence demand detailed scrutiny of the call data report and any other evidence presented by the prosecution the defense should highlight any gaps inconsistencies or a lack of direct involvement indicated by the evidence especially in planning and execution of the crime third emphasize shaikh's personal circumstances the third step that should take is emphasize his personal circumstances what are they provide comprehensive details about shaikh's personal life including affidavits from family members affidavit from employers present and past employers and affidavit from community leaders to showcase his stable background and low flight risk and also argue that the shaikh's continued detention is causing undue hardship to his family who are dependent on him and he is the only earning member of the family and if he doesn't fend for the family the family may go haywire fourth is the offer conditions for bail now even then if the court is having some doubt then he should voluntarily offer to obtain and stick to more stricter bail conditions like the defense should suggest strict bail conditions to address any concerns the court might have such as surrendering sheikh's passport regular check in with the police daily reporting what uh, weekly reporting to the police or even house arrest if it comes to that then propose a substantial surety amount not the normal thousands and hundreds but in lakhs which will be very substantial very large so that jumping such a surety amount bail would become very unviable for the person to assure the court of sheikh's commitment to comply with the bail conditions so obtaining now in conclusion what we can say is obtaining bail in a case involving a serious charge like those under makoka requires a robust legal strategy the defense should focus on <coughs> number 1 applicability of makoka scrutinize the prosecution's evidence and find gaps should raise beyond reasonable doubt and presenting strong personal circumstances of the accused to take uh, the sympathy earn the sympathy and empathy of the court by doing so the defense can make a compelling case for granting bail to rao shek so that's all the conclusion for today